Hey guys, for this, let's let you know that some people have, you know, made a little more, a little teardown of Apple's latest A5 chip that is sitting in iPad 2. And the Apple A5 chip is a dual core chip, so that means that all of the earlier devices that's using A4, it's twice as fast as that. Now, th there are some funny things that we now know about this Apple A5 chip. And the, and the first thing is that it is twice the size app as the Apple A4 chip. You know, that, that's kind of funny. And the Apple A4 chip, it's in the iPhone 4 and uh, well, iPad 1. And I think it's kind of funny also that this Apple A5 chip, it's manufactured by, could you guess who? Yes, Samsung. So it's it's kind of funny, you know. It, it's so funny because, I mean, Samsung and Apple aren't they like competitive? They are like really big competitors against each other in, you know, smartphones and tablet markets. So it's kind of hilarious that Samsung is making um, their competitors or their rivals chips chips yeah chips you say chips i'm not quite sure but it's hilarious i mean samsung should use the apple a5 chip because they're doing it no i'm not quite sure also we got to find out some you know a quick little comparison here between the a4 and the a5 so if you're interested we have some interesting things here like the clock speed we can see that a4 have 1 gigahertz and then we have 1 gigahertz also in the a5 but we have seen some tests uh, some people have tested it out and they are saying that they're getting around 900 megahertz and not 1 gigahertz, 1 gigahertz but still it's a dual core so it's still better than the 1 gigahertz in the a4 but around like not maybe not like 2 gigahertz but you know a little under 2 gigahertz because it's around 900 megahertz by the tests that they have been doing also we have some very interesting thing here called DRAM capacity I'm not quite sure what it is but in the A4 it is saying that to, uh, that it only could take 256 megabytes and I mean the, the oh wait Oh yeah, that's just because it's they are talking about the iPad. Okay, so in the in the iPhone 4, uh, I assume that the DRAM capacity is 512 megabytes. It's because the iPhone 4 it got 512 megabytes of RAM, and the iPad 1 it only got 256 megabytes. So then we also see that the A5, yeah, 512 megabytes, obviously, and the DRAM generation we have LPDDR something LPDDR2 twice as good obviously because you know it's dual core it's two instead of one and the core is been going from ARM Cortex A8 to A9 maybe not that interesting and the course that's the best thing instead of one we got two yeah so that is you know the interesting things I assume and obviously the DRAM capacity would that this is just is is because the RAM, you know. I don't think you could affect it. So yeah. But that is very interesting. So I mean you know we're gonna see a quad core. I mean we have heard some rumors that Nvidia may like reveal their little quad core chip in August this year. So are we gonna see some iPhone 6 with quad core? That would be kind of sweet. I mean, quad core in a smartphone? Yeah, but now rambling, so yeah, see.